Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie if you are new here and welcome back to palette throwback Thursdays in today's video I am going to be pairing together the Tarte Chrome paint in the shade sun drenched with the BH cosmetics absinthe palette so I'm super excited to do this look because I love the Absinthe palette. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I do with these two products, then just keep on watching. All right, so I'm gonna start off in the Absinthe palette and I'm gonna take a really, really small pointed blending brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Blackout and I'm gonna start building up a little bit of a smoky liner and doing some like upper crease inner corner work. I really wish that there was um, like more public knowledge about what exactly was going on with BH. I know from what I've read and from what I understand that like the makeup revolution company has bought them, I think. You know, don't quote me on this. Um, and I will say that I find it interesting that, and maybe it's just because the brand maybe isn't as popular in the UK but there is a lot more available for BH Cosmetics on like the Beauty Bay website than there is even on like BH's own website. And yeah, that, that could be because um, maybe the brand isn't as popular in the UK, but with Makeup Revolution being a UK company, I found it kind of interesting that there was more available on a UK platform. Um, but yeah, I really would love to know like what's going on with the brand because I feel like, I think we can all be honest here, their original like lineup, their original iterations of products were, were not good, but over the years they got really good. Like this series of palettes, I have three of them and they are all amazing quality. I think it was around the Zodiac collection was when they really started to nail down their formulations. Their brushes are amazing as well. Um, I hope that in an ideal world, like I do like a lot of Makeup Revolution products. Um, they can be very hit or miss, but I do like a decent amount. Hold on. Makeup Revolution can be really hit or miss, but I do like a decent amount of their products. They, they do put out some good shit, because specifically, um, not complexion products, like I do not really like like their foundations and their concealers and stuff like that, but their um, like other face products, like their pressed powders, their cheek products, stuff like that. I really like a lot of that stuff. So in an ideal world, I would love to see Makeup Revolution like pick up their BH's like brush factory or fucking whatever and uh, pick up BH's eyeshadow formula. But also I do really like a lot of BH's complexion product, like not complexion, like cheek products as well. So I don't know, I'm very interested to see like what, what happens with the brand is where I'm kind of going with that. Right, next up, I'm gonna take another really small blending brush but it's not gonna be as pointed and I'm gonna go into the shade Trippy and just start working on blending this out some. I will say, which I used that palette in the video that I put up last week, right? Last week? This week? I don't know. It's my shop, my stash video and it's already up. I'll link it up in the eye for you guys. Um, but I used the palette in that video, but uh, I finally got to try a Beauty Bay video or Beauty Bay palette and Holy fucking shit, that, oh my god, the formula, the pigmentation, the colors, it was all so good. And I was like, where has this been my entire life? So, as much as I'm like, oh, I would like really miss like BH's formula and stuff like that. Like, I know that I have another like affordable, colorful brand that I can look to if I'm really in the need for something specific when it comes to eyeshadows. I'm also speaking of brands uh, going bankrupt, I'm really interested to see what's gonna end up happen happening with Revlon. Cause I feel like, especially in more recent years, like I've gotten into some of their products. Like uh, they have a lot of their like classic staple products, obviously. Um, but it was never really a brand that like, spoke to me enough to like 
need to be invested in it. Um, but every once in a while, like something would come out and I would give it a shot. And like, I, I've tried some things I didn't like, but I mean, they were like, a, they're a classic brand. They've been around my entire life, if not like pretty much for as long as like makeup has been like a commercial popularized thing, right? Like they've been around for fucking ever. So it is wild to me that they are struggling. I know that there was like some bank issue or something like that, but I'm gonna leave it like this for just a little bit. I'm gonna go in to the Tarte Chrome Paint in Sun Drenched and I'm just gonna put my little finger in there. I still have not figured out, is it just a powder shadow in a pot situation, like a super shimmery one, or is it like, I don't know, it's the weirdest fucking formula. Like, why would they put it in a big glass pot if it was just a pressed shadow, you know? I don't get it. But, like, it feels like a pressed shadow, but then I think it's the pot that's really throwing me off. Like, it's super, super, super pigmented. I love these so much. I have two of them. The formula just confuses me. Because, like, at the same time, if Tarte can fucking do, like, pressed powdered shadows this well. Why the fuck do they not put it in all their palettes? All right, real quick, I am gonna take like my eyebrow setting brush and my random powder. I'm just gonna soften up these very outer edges. And then I'm gonna use my pinky. So I have like, you know, a very tiny amount of it, but I'm gonna go in to Elixir and I'm gonna kind of put this where, I need a mirror for this, but I'm gonna put this where sun drenched and trippy meet. Very impactful look that can be done relatively quickly. I'm gonna deal with these like very outer edges, like the points of my smoky wing later. Um, I'm gonna go clean up underneath my eyes and put on my base and I will be back to continue working on this look. All right, so if you saw my Shop My Stash video and honestly the Palette Perfect Thursday before that, um, but mostly my Shop My Stash video, let me backtrack, let me rewind. In my last Palette Perfect Thursday video, I was doing my makeup like I literally always do and I had commented that earlier in the day, basically everything that I had put on my face, specifically in this area right here, was burning, like so fucking bad. And as I was doing my makeup, the way I always have, with like pressed powders and loose powders and powder foundation and, I, well, yeah, obviously, and then powder, bronzer, blush, highlight, everything, I had these spots right here where my skin like just didn't take makeup at, at, at all. And it, I ended up kind of finessing it, but it still didn't look the greatest. And then when I filmed the Shop My Stash video, I had kind of mentioned like, you know, I'm gonna fuck around and just try out some different like application techniques and kind of see what the vibe is. Well, that was about a week ago, give or take. And I have been doing my makeup that way ever since then. And I have been fucking obsessed. I love the way that my makeup has been looking. So I'm gonna do it with you guys today. I do plan at some point in the future doing like a um, like base routine, where's my hair? Um, doing like another updated base routine so that I can kind of get this all condensed into one video. Um, but this is all cheek products anyway, so I'm gonna cut out like, you know, putting on powder foundation and stuff like that. But I'm gonna start off with the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in the shade Tan Lines. And I'm gonna use the putty, uh, putty primer applicator actually, because this is so fucking small. I love this bronzer so much, but the packaging is so small that like I can't get my normal cream bronzer brushes in there, like to get an even application. But this one works really, really well for it. So I'm just going to bronze up my skin real quick. And then real quick, I am just gonna clean up a couple of these spots. I'm gonna lighten up this chin bronzer. All right, and then next up, I'm gonna put on some cream blush. I'm gonna use the ColourPop Blush Sticks in the shade Under Pressure. And I do not like drawing with 
cream sticks directly on my face. I prefer to get it onto a brush and then just stipple it out that way. I've been liking to take it really high up. The only, the only thing I do not like about this style of makeup, the way I've been doing it recently, is that I run through my brushes like way, 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 way faster. Um, and you'll see, I mean, cream, cream, obviously, like you can only use them typically one time, but like sometimes I'll do back to back days if like I'm using the exact same bronzer, that's not the end of the world. But for the most part, it's like, you know, you get one brush per day. Same with like, I've started applying my foundation with a brush and then I'll go over it with a sponge, but like you can only use a foundation brush once until you're like, you know, you can't use it a second time. And once again, I'm just gonna run over these edges. And then this is another big reason why I've been kind of running through my brushes a little bit quicker. Next up, I'm gonna go in with a powder. Nope, wait, hold on. I'm gonna spray my face first. All right, now that I'm completely dry. Next up, I am going to take a powder bronzer. So I'm gonna use the Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade Dolce. And when I'm doing this, I'm, I've found that I prefer to use bronzers that are uh, like a little bit more sheer, just because it can get a little bit overwhelming. But essentially what I am doing is I am taking this powder bronzer and I am pressing, I am not swiping, sweeping, circling, nothing like that. I'm literally pressing so I don't disturb anything. Um, but I am quite literally just setting my bronzer with more bronzer. So I'm still getting that kind of like set aspect of it without layering so much fucking powder on my face. I'll fix this in a little bit. Okay, but so you can see the difference. Like obviously there's still quite a bit of sheen on my face because of, you know, all the other creams that are up towards here, but like there is it set with the bronzer versus it completely unset. Like, it makes such a huge difference and it looks so fucking good. But this is a big reason why um, I'm running through brushes so quickly because I am taking these brushes and I'm putting them and I'm, you know, onto cream products and I'm picking up ever so slight amounts of like just cream. So I'm definitely gonna have to keep up on keeping my powder products clean for sure. And you know what? It's holding up really, really well on my skin too. It's not like, I feel like sometimes some cream makeup looks can get really like greasy and kind of, you know, start to break down a little bit throughout the day because your face is moving and nothing is set, but like this has been working. Blush again can get a little bit overwhelming because if you use a, br a blush that has even like a decent amount of pigment, it can get real crazy real quickly. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush in Always Cheeky. And I'm gonna take my, like, are you kidding me? Look, my pores like literally fucking disappear. That's insane. I did go a little bit heavy on the bronzer on my chin, but I will, I can easily fix that. Okay, so next up can go one of two ways. And I pulled both. I'm gonna decide right now which one I'm gonna use. So either now I can go and set the rest of my face using a powder foundation and a puff, a velour puff. That is how I've been setting my foundation. Looks fucking amazing. Um, and then I can use a powder highlight and it looks really, really good. Or I can go in with a cream highlight right now and then kind of set my face around that. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with the powder highlight today so I'm gonna jump off and set my whole face and I'll end up having to go in with like that brush, that blush and that bronzer just a little bit because it will kind of cover, especially in this area, like I'll have to kind of match them together and stuff. But I'm gonna go do that and finish up my under eyes as well and I will be right back. Okay, so went in and set my face again. Literally just took the velour puff put it in the powder and then just kind of press this on my skin and then kind of touched up the bronze, bl bronzer and the blush words are difficult. Um, so again, this does make it a lot more pigmented. Um, you could totally tone it down with like a little bit more powder foundation or whatever. Um, 
I'm not mad at it today, but I did end up going in with a little bit of the Milani Baked Flush and Luminoso just towards like the apples in my cheeks. Like that was what I wanted. So that's what I did. Um, and again with highlight. Um, so just because my face is set, it is significantly less set than I usually do with like how I was pressing loose powder all over my skin and then I was pressing in powder foundation. So my skin was very, very like set. Like I still have like a little, not, I wouldn't call it tackiness. Like there's still definitely spots of tackiness, but um, it's definitely significantly like lighter layers of product on my skin. So for highlight, I also like to go in with a much thinner highlight. So I'm gonna go in with the speak of the brand speaking of the brand Revlon Skin Lights highlight in the shade Daybreak Glimmer. I've already put it on my inner corners. Um, but I'm just going to like, be very just like loose with this and just kind of you know. Like I almost I want that powder on my skin because genuinely um I have like sensory issues and I hate when my skin feels tacky, like I despise it. Um, so I still like using powders, but at the same time with dry skin and you know, everything like that. And like, I am getting older. So my skin does have like light wrinkles and stuff in it. Um, I still like to kind of look like I'm wearing cream products. So I'm being very like loose and generous with this and just kind of almost making it look like I am, I didn't set my face pretty much. Um, like just almost making it look like the bronzer and blush and everything is just unset. And that also kind of tones down the blush just a little bit. I do still spray my face. I'm not spraying an oil-based setting spray over this because then I will literally look like grease, but I do still spray like the uh, Morphe Continuous Setting Mist on my skin right now. It just really pulls that powder in and just melds it all together and just makes it look really, really, really good. So helpful if I had blended that one little spot right there yeah that's good that's good for me but I'm gonna jump off and finish up the rest of my face for my lips I'm gonna use the Maybelline Ultimate lipstick in the shade more blonde and I will be back to show you guys the final look all right so this is the final look I love the way that it turned out and by the way real quick let me zoom you guys in real quick like can we just talk about my skin for a second? Like, I have a little bit of like pores and everything showing through. Like, that's fucking normal. Um, also put a bunch of shimmery product on my face, but like, my skin looks so good. Like, it looks so fucking good. I am super happy with the way that this look turned out. Everything just came together beautifully. Um, I love this style of eyeshadow. You guys know that by now. I love like a really strong inner corner crease and then like a lot of openness on the outer corner. I just think that it like complements my eyes very well. Um, but yeah, I and I also talked a bunch about how I just really, really love these two products. So I'm thrilled. I love the fact that they got paired together because there was, there was a, a pretty big risk in putting this in a palette for Whack Thursday. Like I could have ended up with like a fucking purple like cream shadow and that could have been a nightmare. So I'm very, very happy with how this whole thing turned out. And that is going to wrap up my palette for Back Thursday using the BH Cosmetics Absinthe Palette and the Tarte Chrome Paint in the shade Sun Drenched. Comment down below and let me know how you would pair these two products together. I would love to know. Please subscribe if you have not already. It would mean the world to me. Like this video, ring the bell, do all the things. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Love.